He was an ice skater, publisher and founder of the world's largest ice skating magazine, a judge on Fox's Skating with Celebrities, and an actor. Mark Lund is here to share with us how he turned a part-time hobby into a project that he says changed his life. Hey Mark, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So uh, after all these jobs that you had, how did you even find time to, to start this hobby? Well, it was a passion project. It was a project I always wanted to do and I always had the idea for it. So when the show Skating with Celebrities was running, that's when I was writing the script. Okay, and yeah, it was a script that you wrote, It was wrote, a script. Right? I wrote the script, 130 pages, and then condensed it into a 25-minute short film script, and that was produced last year. Okay, and so just to let everybody know, this whole thing is actually, you, you have a film that you can show, and we have clips of it here yep. today and everything. We have a two-minute trailer that's actually running on imdb.com under First World. We also have a MySpace page slash First World movie, and the 25-minute short can also be seen on the MySpace page, and we are now trying to work very hard to get it turned into a feature-length film. It's crazy, and it all just started as like an afternoon hobby? It was an afternoon hobby. I just started writing one afternoon. I came up with one great scene. I was, I've always had it's this vision else. of like where my cousins live in Dennis, Massachusetts, from whatever reason, it must have been a nightmare as a kid or whatever, <laughs> of these great starships showing up on the beach or something. So that was one pivotal scene, and then the whole story just built up and around there, which is a fictional account of the Apollo space program in the late 1960s and what we really discovered on the moon. <laughs> so it's pretty involved. And so, okay, so you just had this vision for one mm -hmm. scene, then you sat down and you just started writing a script. Yeah, I bought this software called Final Draft, which any screenwriter knows it's like the best software out there to writing a script. And punched the script up by the summer of last year. And then I auditioned um, actors out here and in Massachusetts and worked with a good friend of mine back east, my name is Adam Starr, great director friend of mine. We've worked together on other projects before, TV commercials and websites and things. And we just got together and just did it. And it took about three days of filming over two trips out there. And the whole short film cost about $16,000. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of money money but it's a lot, but it's not a lot as some short film projects go. Some of them are tremendously more, and some of them are tremendously less. I think it's, um, for us, it was mostly transportation costs. Uh, we have a scene, for example, where the president arrives in England, and there was a, a motorcade we had to put together for that. Uh, we had some wonderful interior scenes in Boston at the Hotel Commonwealth. They gave us the use of their ballroom for free, wow. which was wonderful. We had about 30 actors involved in it, so it was a production. Okay, and yeah. so what was it like when you were out there actually filming it? Was that fun? Did you enjoy that part the, the most? The, the, the part I enjoyed the most was sitting at a table, much like this, and just you know watching the action go on, going, I, I God, I wrote that. <laughs> and you're seeing these actors bring your words to life. I think that was the most exciting part for me. You're, you're watching people that you have directed. I didn't direct it, but just created the words and they're bringing life into it. And it was very interesting watching them interact with one. That was the most exciting part. Oh, cool. And I remember seeing some of those snapshots that you took from when you were filming. Oh, yeah. And you're, you know, you, you're from like the producer, creator guy yeah. to the person yeah. like hauling the cable. Oh, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> no, you do everything. When you're when you're independent producer, writer, you just you just do everything. I mean, I'll never forget we're at the horse farm and I'm holding the cable while um, Adam's wife is holding the boom, okay? And here we are walking through the field with Angelina Spicer, one of the star actors and uh, actresses in her, in her secret service detail <laughs> and it's starting to rain a little bit too so we're ignoring the rain and we're just I'm holding the cable I want to trip over like you know cow dung as I'm walking through the field but <laughs> it was a lot of fun and it, what, what I liked the most about it was just doing a little bit of everything yeah that's you cool know? yeah it was a lot of okay fun. and so uh, real quickly you uh, got to do a little bit of the getting the stuff into film festivals and stuff, oh yes right? we've screened the film at about 13 science fiction conventions around the world uh, mostly here in the United States one in Japan and one in Australia we actually um, are going to be in Los Angeles, and then we have one coming up in Chattanooga, Tennessee in January, where they have about 1,500 people go to these things. The science fiction conventions are amazing because they get hundreds of people, enthusiasts, people that are very interested in the craft, attend these conventions, which I think is better than actually going into some of these film festivals, which you just don't know who's going to be sitting in the audience. Um, yeah. <laughs> I went to a film festival in Northern California, and probably eight out of the eight shorts I saw, I think I fell asleep after the third one. I mean, there was one that was very interesting, but a lot of them is very artsy. Mm -hmm. And I'm more about producing a commercial product rather than as an art form. Yeah. Well, that's great. I love the fact that, you know what, you pulled yourself up by the bootstraps and you said, you know what, I want to produce a film mm -hmm. and you made it happen yourself. It was a lot of fun. So you that's awesome. Great time with it. Now, I want to ask you about what you're going to do in Pasadena, but we ran out of time, so you're going to have to come back and tell okay. me about that project, sure. okay? All right. All right. So thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, Anthony. Okay. Uh, coming up. Do you